On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, some surprising findings about ProPresenter 5 and 6 and animated GIFs, or is it GIFs? Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com Screencast Show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to ask your questions, leave your comments, etc. So just do that below the video. So um, you might remember that I frequent a lot of church tech forums, and someone asked, hey, uh, has anyone had any luck with animated GIFs, or is it GIFs, um, and ProPresenter? And I thought, well, I think I've at least tested that, but I didn't know. So today, I want to show you the surprising thing that I found out about it. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. So you want to add a, an animated GIF or GIF, depending on who you are and who you believe. It's either GIF or GIF, one of those. And um, you're in ProPresenter 6, so the first thing you might think of doing is adding it as a background. Well, you notice that the foregrounds work, or the background videos work perfectly fine, but when you get to a GIF or GIF, Nothing. Doesn't loop, doesn't do anything. Maybe you, you think, well, I'll just right click on it, go to media properties, make sure that's all fine, and there's no playback ability here. No problem. Maybe you need to add it onto the slide itself. So let's click clear all here, and we're going to right click, edit slide. Um, and in ProPresenter 5, which I'll show you here in a minute, you would click this for add video to a slide. Actually, they call it media in ProPresenter 5, if I remember correct. And that's this one is one that I created. It's in my download, and it won't let me add it. Choose media file. Well, what? Oh, well, it's an image file. No problem. We'll just add it as an image. Add image to slide. Same thing. We click on that. Click select. Okay, that's there. Um, let's go ahead and size this up. It's actually a smaller file than I would normally want to use, but just for giggles, we're going to slide it, size it up. Fills the screen. It's going to be a little fuzzy, but who cares about that? So now, Let's show that. And it doesn't move. Well, wh why doesn't it move? Oh, clearly over here where it, it's not there either. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of playing stupid on purpose. It's not in here. I think that when, Renew Vi when Renewed Vision created a new version of uh, the playback engine, they left out the ability to play animated GIFs or GIFs, again, depending on who you are. So I haven't found a way to get this to actually play. It only wants to play the first frame, and that's it. But by contrast, let's look at ProPresenter 5, which I have open underneath ProPresenter 6. Okay, so now we're in ProPresenter 5. You see up here it says ProPresenter 5. Now, remember how it worked before. We're going to just right click, click edit slide, and if I click on images and go to downloads, where I have my anim, see it won't let me add it, which is exactly the opposite of how it is in ProPresenter 6. But if I click this guy, and choose a media file, it will let me add it. And I think that's the difference and that's very important. So uh, 
I'll do exactly the same thing. I'm going to resize it so that it fills the screen. Okay. Now, if I were to show it, it's going to play one time. Watch this. So I expect that to stop in just a second. Okay, just one time. So that's better than in ProPresenter 6, but what you actually want to do if you want it to continuously loop is go to behavior here near the gear icon and go to loop. And when you show that, Okay, give it just a second. Once it gets to this point, it will start over. See? So I could also do palindrome, uh, just as I can do in all cases. And if I do that, then it does this, plays it forward, and then here in a second it will play it backwards. And watch, it'll my picture will spin counterclockwise. Yep, see, it's a little touchy on this machine because I'm recording at the same time. But this is, generally speaking, ProPresenter 6 is an upgrade across the board. But this is one of the situations where if you really use this feature, and it's really not the best thing to do, because it's much better to have videos. They're actually more efficient than the animated GIF or animated GIF format. But if you have to have it, ProPresenter 5 does it, ProPresenter 6 doesn't. Well, isn't that interesting? It worked perfectly fine in ProPresenter 5, but not ProPresenter 6. That's not what I expected at all. But in, Pro, in Renewed Vision's defense, animated GIFs, or is it GIFs, are um, problematic in that they're very large for not a lot of data. So really video files are a better way to go than using these image formats that have animation built in. So I just wanted to say that Although I can imagine that there are certain churches that really, really need this functionality. And if you do, ProPresenter 5 is the way to go. If you don't, which I think most of you don't, ProPresenter 6 is the way to go. If you're in a situation where you're stuck, where you need, um, you're in, you only have ProPresenter 6 and you need uh, an animated GIF, or is it GIF, then by all means, what you want to do is do a screen cap, uh, you know, use, using screen capture software like what I use for this church, uh, this show, use that to screen capture it and make a video and then use it that way. That's exactly what I would do. Uh, it's a bit kludgy, a bit of a workaround, but I can't imagine that you would need to use this all the time. So that should be helpful to you. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. And there you can pick up a copy of my email newsletter for free along with the church tech gift of your choosing. Also, don't forget this content is provided to you free of charge, something I love doing. But if you're in need of church tech training, then head over to my store, trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store, and pick up some of that training that I've made for you and the members of your tech team. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.